Here we have a plot of position called x in meters versus time in seconds. And the scatter plot gives us a kind of an up opening parabola. And that up swoop indicates that we could probably linearize this data by squaring the horizontal axis, which is time. I'm going to show you how you can do that by, a crea by creating a calculated column using Vernier graphical analysis. Start out by clicking the ellipses on any of the column headings. And one of the options that you get is Add Calculated Column. The default name is Calculated Something. Uh, you'll probably want to change that to keep the record clear. So time squared is what I'm actually calculating. And time was, had units of seconds, so seconds squared would be the resulting units. Now here's the important part. Click on Insert Expression, and you have a number of different pre-canned options provided to you by graphical analysis that you use to set your calculated expression. A and B are constants that you set, and uh, X and Y are columns of data that you already have in your data table. We want to raise a variable to a power, and we can multiply by a constant of 1, so we'll select this first one. In the dialog box, now we have our parameter, which you can adjust if you need to. 1 is exactly what we want. We want to square time, so for column X, we'll select time instead of X. And then our parameter, we want to square it. It already says squared, but you could change it to other values if you needed to. When we click Apply, we can see here that the column has been created and all the time values have been squared. The other thing that happened is the horizontal axis automatically changed to plot time squared, and it did linearize as we expected. If that didn't automatically happen, sometimes it doesn't in graphical analysis, just click on the button and you can select which value you want on that axis.